Ocular Link is out and I played lots of Stormland using my Quest instead of my Ocular Rift S right here and I'm very enjoying it. But as a 3CC filmmaker, you probably care more about using the Oculus Quest to edit your VR video. This tutorial is all about why you should color grade directly on the Ocular Quest, teaching you to set up your Quest with the Oculus Link and my USB cable suggestion to save money and have the best editing experience inside the brand new Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2020. If you're ready to throw away your ATC Vine Pro or even the Ocular Rift S, let's dive right in. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up, the number one YouTube channel dedicated to 360 virtual reality filmmaking for everyone. Before watching this tutorial, you need to know why and how to edit VR video with the VR headset like the Ocular Rift S right here. No matter what camera you use, GoPro Max, the new Kendall Coolcam AK, Install360 ONE X or the Install360 Titan, you need to edit inside a VR headset if you are distributing your content within VR headset. There is no way around it. If you are the one edit and publish a VR video without even checking your works within a VR headset, you are making your viewer hate VR. Don't be that guy or gal. So why edit directly inside the Ocular Crest is even better than the Ocular Rift S right here? Besides the fact that Ocular Crest is more popular than any other VR headset on the market right now, Besides the Oculus Go, there are practical reasons as well. Color grading is a big one. The display in the Oculus Quest is different than the Oculus Rift S or HTC Vive, and your final video will probably be consumed on a Oculus Quest and Oculus Go, and Quest will eventually be more popular than the Go with gamer pushing the sale. With the release of Oculus Media, which I'm working on that tutorial, and the upcoming release of Oculus TV, more people are going to watch your content on the Crest. So as an editor, you should target your color grading to the Oculus Crest instead on any other headset. You future-proof your videos. Okay, now let's learn how to set up your Oculus Crest with Oculus Link, so you can use it with Premiere 2020. First, let's make sure your computer is powerful enough to edit VR video or play VR games. I would recommend using Steam VR Performance Test right here. I'll put the link down below. Then, download the Oculus software onto your computer. Please make sure you have the latest version as Oculus Link is only in beta right now, and you need the latest Oculus software to make it work. Then go ahead and download Steam VR. If you follow my previous tutorial on setting up Oculus Rift S, this is no news for you. Then of course, please make sure update your Premiere Pro CC to 2020. 2019 will work, but 2020 has VR performance optimization, which will help smoother playback in higher resolution VR video. I heard Blackmagic Fusion 16 from DaVinci Resolve will also work with the Oculus Quest using Oculus Link, but I will save that tutorial when I work on my DaVinci Resolve series. USB cable for Oculus Link. One of the biggest issues for lots of users is finding the correct USB cable. Ocular Links essentially is just a USB cable to connect your PC to your Ocular Quest headset like so. Do you need to spend $80 for the official Oculus cable from Oculus? If you are playing lots of VR games, then yes. But if you are a VR video editor, then no. Why? Well. 
the official cable is a USB-C to USB-C cable. As you all know, your Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C cable should be connected to your SSD or external hard drive like the GTEC Shadow XL. It is to make sure you have the fastest read and write speed for large VR media. Even the consumer camera like the GoPro Max is 5.6K and that is a lot of data going from and to your computer. So your Crest cannot use any USB-C from your computer. You can only use USB 3.1. So you need a cable that is USB-C right here to USB 3.1. Here is the cable will work and recommended by the official Oculus is the Anchor Power Link. It only costs $12 on Amazon. It is shorter than the official cable, but you mostly sit next to your computer, so length is never the issue. Set up Oculus Link with Oculus Crest on PC. So now go ahead and open Oculus software you just downloaded. Go to Devices, which is on the left of your Oculus software menus. As you see, all the devices I have connected to my PC. I have the original Oculus Rift, the Oculus Rift S, which has been my main Alien VR headset for all my words, and Oculus Crest, which is currently connected to my PC. You won't see your Crest yet, so go ahead and hit the Add Headset button down below. By the way, before you do that, I would highly recommend disconnect all your other Oculus headset to avoid problems. I found that usually was the issues, so do that. The next screen, go ahead and select Crest and continue. So now Oculus asks you to connect your Oculus Crest. So turn on your Oculus Crest, make sure it is at least 50% charged, connect it with the cheap USB cable you just got from Amazon. The other end to your PC USB 3.1 port. If your graphic card support a virtual link, you can connect your official Ocular USB-C cable to your graphic card instead. I will do a review of the official Ocular Links cable when it come out, so subscribe and keep up to date. Now, put on your Ocular Crest. It will prompt to enable Oculus Link Beta. Hit confirm inside the headset and you are ready to go. You should see a different interface than the Crest and all your Rift S VR games should be available. As you see, I'm playing Stormland right now with my Crest, which was only available to be played on Oculus Rift S. By the way, I did not notice the latency compared to the Rift S. It's literally the same experience. I am not a professional VR gamer. For a casual gamer who just want to play Oscar Rev, Play and Sorcery or Stormland, the Crest is good enough. And you don't need to buy the Rivest. Okay, troubleshooting. If Oculus Link does not work for you or it disconnects randomly while playing VR games or inside Premiere, it is probably your USB port is not 3.1 or does not provide enough power to charge your Oculus Crest while playing back the content. Especially you are using the front panel USB port like what I do here on my PC. Well, my PC is built by main gear for VR gaming, so all USB ports are quality checked. So if disconnect issue happens or simply just not working, try the back panel of your motherboard. The easiest way to find out which USB port will work is by downloading this free utility app called USB Deep View. I will provide the link down in the description below. When you connect your Crest, it will show up as you see right here. Scroll all the way to the right and you see the power consumption. My Crest draw 896 milliamp on a USB-C 3.1 port. That should be your as well. If you see the number lower than that, we have some issue here and you need to switch USB port or call your PC health support line. I hope this little tip helped you to solve your issue. If it does not, comment below and I will help you out. Elite VR Inside Premiere Pro 2020. Okay, now it is the exciting part. We are going to connect your Crest 
to premiere 2020. The process is the same as 2019 or even 2018, but 2020 works better so far for VR editing. I cannot vouch for 2D video editing, so please, please keep your 2019 instead of deleting it. You never know when you need it. Also, double make sure you install Steam and Steam VR. If you can, go play some Steam VR game using your Ocular Crest. Open Premiere and open up a VR project. Here I have the Boston Dronefly project open shot on the GoPro Max in Cambridge on top of MIT and Harvard University. I highly recommend to check it out on Oculus Crest, which I will provide the link down below. Not on YouTube VR as it has compression, but directly on Oculus Crest. You need to see it yourself to find out how much better even without side loading. Go ahead and hit the toggle VR display button to make sure you have the correct meta. If meta is missing, go on to sequence settings and make sure your VR properties are exactly like mine. Play your video in VR mode and make sure it does not have any drop frames. You can see the drop frame indicator right here. If it does, you are not following my GoPro Max rendering setting in progress. Please make proxy first. I have many tutorials on that, so I am not gonna repeat myself. Now, go ahead and click the wrench icon. Choose Adobe Immersive Environment and also monitor ambisonics for spatial audio if you like I do. Again, spatial audio is very important to your VR production. So please check out this series to learn how to do it properly. Now, Oculus software should open up if it has not already and also Steam VR should also open. Make sure your headset icon and your left and right controller turn green. Bring Premiere back into focus. Go ahead and hit spacebar to play the video. Put on your Ocular Crest and you should see the video is playing. You can hit the menu icon to bring up the Premiere timeline. Again, bring up your controller. You should see all the control. X and A button are stop and play video. Point and grab will allow you to scrub through your timeline. There are many controls within the VR environment that allow you to edit faster in VR. The controls are identical to Rift S, so please watch this tutorial again to learn all the controls and how to edit in VR with Premiere Pro. If you want to bring up the monitor window like I do here, right click on Steam VR icon on your taskbar, check display VR view, it will bring up the monitor. It is good to show that when you play the video for your clients and directors and know where they are looking at. It brings so much fun in the editing base and let the client see the final product before rendering and really help the communication between you, the VR editor and the rest of the team. I hope this video helps you to set up and start editing in VR. Again, I can't stress more how important you should make your cut in VR. If you cannot see what your end users see, you are not editing VR correctly. So please help the industry by doing things the correct ways. Make awesome content to wow your audience instead of making them sick in VR headset. The next tutorial, I will show you how to release content directly onto the Oculus ecosystem. Be the first one on Oculus TV and gain views and build your audience base in VR. Remember that as a creator of followers, you are an immersive content creator and pioneer that are driving this industry forward. You have your responsibility to follow best practices care for your viewers' experience and guide them into cinematic VR world instead of scaring them away. Together, we grow the VR industry together. Hit the subscribe button to join the growing family, like this video and share the loves. And I will see you in VR next time. Hey.
This is Mark Christopher Lawrence. Go and watch my comedy VR special, the first of its kind. There are no other comedy VR specials. You watch it on this thing. The link is right here. Go, watch it. Don't make me come over there.